What's up everybody, John here with another video for those of you that are interested in getting the job on board a cruise ship. And I'm here again to provide you some more information to help you make a decision on whether or not this lifestyle is for you. The topic of this video is going to be food for the crew. Now a lot of people have been asking me, they're very curious about the meals, what's provided for you if you're a crew member on board. Well you will be happy to know that all meals are provided to you as a crew member free of charge. So what better way than getting free food, free room and board. Just kind of a breakdown of how the food works. Uh, you have your crew mess, you've got your staff mess, you know, whatever dining room you're assigned to. You get your breakfast, which is a buffet style, you know, pretty much standard hot and cold breakfast items. You've got lunch and you've got dinner. Also buffet style, they always have a salad bar, there's always a protein, there's always a fish, there's always rice, there's always some sort of uh, like a chicken breast that you can use to mix and make other items and then a bunch of other variety of things uh, for both lunch and dinner. And it'll be like a menu, uh, 14 days, and it'll kind of give the breakdown of lunch and dinner and what's going to be served, or at least what's the main thing to be served. And then it'll rotate through that for two weeks and then start it all again. So it's just kind of like school, where you'd have certain days that you're really excited for, like pizza day, and then days that you dread, where you're like, what the heck am I eating? So it does have its ups and downs, but remember it's all free and it's all there for you. The mess is kind of the area where everybody comes together to eat, to sit, and to relax before they go back to work. Each mess will be open for about two to three hours for those times, so you can make sure that you can get down there and eat and then head back to work or head back to your cabin to hang out or to take a nap. Uh, they also do during the day, some ships will have like a two o'clock snack time, which is like cookies, tea, sometimes they're sandwiches. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a snack during the day to kind of replenish your energy. And then every ship that I've been on has a midnight mess, which is the greatest time of the entire day. Because midnight mess is sometimes it's a combination of things that have been left over from upstairs, the guests, so you get some Lido Deck food brought down, some pizza, some stuff from the dining room, and it's just kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of different items that you can just take and eat at midnight. You can head on down, serve yourself, get a plate, eat at the midnight mess, then head to the crew bar, then go to bed, and get ready to wake up and do it all again the next day. If you happen to have guest area privileges, then you'll be able to take advantage of eating up on the Lido Deck. Now all the ships that I've been on have had a very strict rule that the guest comes first. That means if there are five or more guests in line for a certain thing up on the Lido deck, then no crew members will be served that food. So for eating the buffet, we usually waited until like a port day and we were able to go up because all the guests were off the ship and we'd be able to take advantage of the buffets. Uh, any of the stations, so they had like the burrito bar, the fish and chips, the tandoori, the Mongolian wok, that was all the line, so you have to line up and get served. So if there was ever five guests in line, sorry. And if you were in line and guests get in line, you have to let them go in front of you because the guests come first. Then there was the pizza, which is 24 hours, so you can go up there whenever you want. And as long as there's not a line, you'll be able to take advantage and grab some pizza. Sea days, that's impossible because everybody gets pizza on sea days. So usually like dinner time till late, late at night, you should have no problem going up and getting a pizza uh, because there's not going to be too much of a line. Sandwich station, kind of the same thing, but the sandwich station would close at a certain time. So if you go up there during dinner, not many people are getting sandwiches. You should be able to have no problem grabbing a sandwich if you're not going to want to eat in the mess or anything like that. Just to recap, food for crew, down the crew and staff mess. You get your breakfast, you get your lunch, you get your dinner. Uh, breakfast is kind of the same every day. Maybe they might switch out a couple items. Uh, lunch and dinner are rotated on a 14-day schedule. And remember, each of these uh, meal times are going to be available for about two and a half to three hours a day. So you get in there, you eat, and then you go back to work or go take a nap. They also got the snack time. They also have the midnight mess. And then you can also buy stuff in the crew bar. They sell like those instant noodles. And then they'll sell candy bars, chips, you know, sodas and stuff like that that you can buy, bring back to your cabin, and then have something extra in case... In case the food for dinner is not really appealing to you, you at least can have some noodles or something. And then it, when you get onto your ship, you can see if there's like a uh, microwave or anything in the crew mess or the staff mess. So then you know that if you went off to port and bought a bunch of like microwavable meals, you could bring them back on and you can, you know, make them for yourself in the mess 
and eat whatever you want instead of, you know, what's for dinner. And then if you have the guest area privileges, you'll be able to head on up to the Lido deck and take advantage of that as long as there's not uh, five or more guests in line. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe because there's going to be a bunch of new videos coming up soon and they're going to be answering more questions for those of you that are curious to see if working on board a cruise ship is right for you. And if you do have any specific questions, feel free to comment on them below and leave them down there and I'm going to get to answering them in some upcoming videos. So once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and I'll talk to you later.